Bout none of that shit. 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 It's your boy, Ted, two times, blue collar cash. I'm just letting y'all check out one of my favorite female rappers, Asian Door. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Let's get it, man. Hey, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> make sure you like, comment, share. That's how we doing it, man. Hey, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Yeah, about none of that shit. But by none of that shit, by none of that shit, but by none of that shit, by none of that shit, um, but by none of that shit, by none of that shit. Alright, so, Breakfast Club, Joe Budden addresses Rory and Mal's absence from the Joe Budden podcast. I don't think that's interesting. Not to everybody. Uh, Capital Ride suspect arrested at his home where I was there shirt. Ooh. Let's check it out. Shake your legs, shake your abs, shake your butt, shake up your entire body to a slip. Shake it. <laughs> Breakfast club, bitch. You're a dude. <laughs> Donkey of the day. Capital Ride suspect arrested at home where I was there shirt. Let's get it. Donkey of the day for Tuesday, March 30th goes to Garrett Miller. Who is Garrett Miller? Well, Garrett Miller is a domestic terrorist, a member of Vanilla ISIS, a proud soldier in that racist redneck regime, Al Cracker. Now, law enforcement officers are arresting people who stormed the Capitol on January 6th every other day, it seems like. Uh, better late than never, I guess. I don't know what these... I don't know why these folks weren't arrested on the spot. I don't know what these people are being charged with. It doesn't seem like it's much of a media production behind any of these arrests. I mean, when you think about how... I think, uh, this, what's her name, Paul Cannon was arrested last week at the State House in Georgia for simply knocking on the door while Brian Kemp was signing a bill uh, in place to keep nigga from voting. Okay, I mean, I know the circumstances are certainly different, but it sure does feel like Paul Cannon's arrest got more media coverage than the arrest of the mayonnaise mob. But these Trump-loving thugs have been getting arrested, and a lot of these members of a neck called Red have been trying to get low. Okay, they got tired of chasing waterfalls and decided to retreat back to the rivers and trailer parks that they used to. Now, one of my favorite pastimes is reading about these hillbilly hooligans and how shocked they are Man, when they get shit, arrested. Man. Oh, it's nothing better. See, Garrett is one of more than the 300 human jars of helmets who are facing federal charges in connection with the attempted coup that happened on January 6th. I still haven't gotten over this. Okay, all these corn-fed... Confederate loving clodhoppers attempting a coup in America on the Capitol building and folks acted like it was just an influx of people wilding in Florida during spring break. And like those kids at spring break, they documented that whole coup via social media, okay? That's how all these hayseed loving hicks have been getting caught. Sidebar, I bet you make a killing selling hayseed flavor hookah to these hillbillies, but I digress. Back to the crack at hand, Garrett Miller. Now let me tell you about old Garrett. Uh, old Garrett got arrested 
And on a recorded call immediately after his arrest, Garrett told his mother, Mom, I, I, don't, I don't think I've done anything wrong, and now I'm being locked up. Garrett's mom replied, allegedly, well, let me call my brother, a.k.a. your father, and tell him what's going on. Now, listen, Garrett Miller is saying he didn't do anything wrong. But let me run down the list of things. <coughs> the reason I know he did these things is because he documented himself on social media. Garrett Miller posted a selfie showing himself inside the Capitol building. Uh, did you hear me? Garrett Miller posted a selfie showing himself inside the Capitol building. Another Facebook user wrote, Yee-haw! Bro, you got in? Nice! Miller replied, and I quote, I'm not making this up. I'm putting no halal cart-style white sauce on this one whatsoever. Garrett said verbatim, just wanted to incriminate myself a little, LOL. Garrett Miller was also part of the same mob of local yokels that not only breached the Capitol and later threatened to kill AOC and a Capitol Police officer. Oh. See, little tidbits oh, like that is why I don't understand why all the good people don't realize Oh, my this lamb. Is what you look like. Say, okay, they wanted to kill AOC and a Capitol Police officer. I repeat, they wanted to kill AOC and a Capitol Police officer. In fact, AOC tweeted, impeach. One word, that's it. Garrett Miller tweeted back, assassinate AOC. In a January 10th Instagram post, Garrett Miller said the officer who shot and killed a woman in the crowd of rioters should get a televised execution. Uh, he also believed the officer was a black man and called him a prize to be taken. Prosecutors said this, okay? Oh, and Garrett also said, he will swing. I had a rope in my bag on that day. All of this is documented on social media. He wrote these things. Now, I don't speak fluent bumpkin, but I think that all these things I'm reading are considered wrong. You remember the wrong he told his mom he doesn't think he did? Yeah. Hey, mom, did you call Garrett's uncle dad yet? Because maybe he can explain to Garrett what he did wrong. Do I even have to get into the fact that he bought tactical gear, ropes, and potentially by his own admission, a gun to the Capitol on January 6th? Now, he could get donkey of the day for everything I just named. Case closed. That's more than enough evidence, and he has more than enough to receive the credit he deserves for being stupid. But it gets worse. If there was any doubt that Garrett Miller was indeed raising holy incestuous hell at the Capitol on January 6th, let's go to WFAA ABC 8 for the report, please. 34-year-old Garrett Miller used social media to show his part in the Capitol riots, and now federal prosecutors are using those as the best evidence against him. The same Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook post where he proclaimed what I witnessed was beautiful and next time we bring guns is where the FBI also found multiple death threats he made against Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Senator Chuck Schumer and against the Capitol Police officer who shot and killed a female protester. Miller was arrested at his home in Richardson the morning of President Biden's inauguration. The FBI says he was still wearing a pro-Trump t-shirt and that in his house and vehicle, they recovered a rope and grappling hook, a tactical vest, gas mask, a suitcase with boxes of ammo, an AR-style rifle, shotgun, handgun, and a crossbow with arrows. His attorney offered a statement from him, an apology. I believed I was following the instructions of former President Trump, and he was my president and the commander-in-chief. Oh, please. Listen, uh, let's go back to my part. I want to hear the part. This is the part that he's receiving, Duncan. They go back to the part where they say he had on a pro-Trump t-shirt. Let me hear that part. Miller was arrested at his home in Richardson the morning of President Biden's inauguration. The FBI says he was still wearing a pro-Trump t-shirt. Would you like to know what the pro-Trump t-shirt said? Yes. It had a picture on it. The picture was of former celebrity in chief, twice impeached President Donald J. Trump, and it said, take America back. And it also said, I was there with the date, Washington, D.C., January 6th. Mm. When he was arrested, that's what he was wearing. <laughs> there he is. Please let Kathy Griffin handle my white work. Please give this giant jar of mail the biggest hee-haw. <laughs> How do we ever let those people become the dominant caste system in this country? <laughs> How? How did that happen? Oh my god! Chris Rock!
Subscribe, 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 subscribe. It's ten, two times. You did. That's all I love, man. We know we're gonna be back. <laughs>